Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're glad you're here because today we're diving into a truly remarkable testimony. Prophet Webert Angel shares how his prayers brought about divine intervention and justice against the enemies of Prophet Shepherd Bashiri. This is a powerful and inspiring account that you won't want to miss. So, let's get started and hear this incredible testimony unfold. Sit down. And the first person was Prophet Bushiri. He brought a... He said, this, um, he was young then. He had not even moved to South Africa. He said, this is the person who is writing against me every day. I don't know. So he, he never knew what I wanted to do with the enemies. I put it here. I said, everyone. We had first seven put on the platform. I said, now I'm going to read these names. Read the name, read the name, read the name. I said, God within one hour, let them die. I don't know what it was, maybe 20 minutes, 20 minutes, messages, someone just fell. The journalist fell by the door of, fell, going into his own car, nobody killed him. His own heart attacked him, he died of heart attack. <laughs> Shilo! Shilo! Listen, if you think you know you be an angel, come to Shiloh. Let's, let's prove you don't know him. We, we, we don't do it here. Ah, why do it here? No, there is so much technology here. We don't need technology there. But I want you to understand something that the Christianity you are used to is a lie. If Christianity cannot kill, it is not Christianity. Yeah. The reason why people can say anything against men of God is because nobody died. Like Anania and Sapphira. And people had witness. If one dies, people will be like, eh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> this is why nobody tries witches. Nobody challenges witches, but they can challenge Christian leaders. They know nothing happened. But in the days of God, <laughs> let me say something before you go deeper. Without witchcraft, without the power of God killing people, God had people who would kill people on, for him. Ah. Okay, now I said something you don't want to hear. God would have Solomon go and kill that king. And God, Solomon kills that king. God says, look at what I happened, what, what happened to my enemies. I killed them. Ah, ah. <laughs> now in Christianity, we have no sons that can say, you say something about our father. You will suffer. No, no. We are too weak. I wish you were like Muslims. They don't play Muslims. Muslims, if they lose an argument, they want to kill you. Muslims are too united about what they believe. Christianity is all, you see, this is why every preacher is fighting another preacher. Do you know why? They are afraid to say something about Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims. They fear being killed, but they know another preacher will not do nothing. That's why Christianity is all that. This preacher, that preacher is a lie. This one, fake miracle. This one, they are opposing each other and leaving the enemy. Why? They know you are weaklings. You can't do nothing. You have a problem, you think love means just relax. This is the reason. If somebody takes your husband now, and comes by your house and knocks and says, I need uh, my husband's, my, my new husband's bags. Would you say, Christ said I should love you. Ah! You don't love Jesus, I can tell. You can fight for your boyfriend, but not for Christ. 
Yeah? You are not a Christian. I'm not saying be violent. <laughs> I tell these people, if you find us exactly where we pray, you think it's not Christianity. <laughs> Listen, we did here weight loss here in this country. We did weight loss. Remember those days? We did weight loss here. One person from what? I, I believe it was 150 to 85 kgs in an instant. How many kgs are those? 65 kgs. Someone losing 65 kgs. If you are 59 kgs, I can make you disappear. <laughs> At least I tested that one. I tested a human being to 65 kgs. <laughs> Where did the flesh go? Where did it disappear? You think it's going to happen by Rika Rika Shaka Shaka? Rika Shanda Rika Shanda Rika Shanda Rika Shanda Rika Shanda When is it going to work? Rika Shanda Rika Shinda Ay. <laughs> They are mechanics Spiritual techniques That when you see real Christianity You go like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter would look at his enemy and say You, you will be blind for a season Not even seeing the sun ah, ah. Immediately on the spot. Immediately on the spot. Somebody's already blind. You, somebody can say anything to you, say anything to your children, say anything to your wife. Just say, oh, okay, God will, God will deal with you. Hey, I deal with you myself. I said, I deal with you myself. When I pray, everyone is at risk. You have wrong Christianity. People should shake when you say, uh, say, 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 here. Sir, what, what are you? Uh, so you are, you are, you are a pig, you are crazy, nonsensical, you are a fake man of God. Say, see you after Shiloh. Mm -hmm. We will see if you will say this what you are saying now. I will see. See you after Shiloh. <laughs> then I make my way to Shiloh. I make my way to Shiloh. I said I make my way to Shiloh. I make my way to Shiloh. Those who remember the days of Shiloh. We never repeated that conference. You know why? Because it was in the papers. They were fighting us. I wasn't doing no more, no more, no more test, miracle testimony. No, no, no. I went on the pulpit from, from nowhere. God said, tell everyone to bring a prayer request. But their prayer request should have a list of their enemies. Sit down. Full video Maybe is on the link in, in the description. For more heavenly secrets, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share if you care. Signing out, the Enoch Generation, peace be with you.